Here we are back at Jazz Central with our guest artist, Craig Payton. And this man has really got something that is very interesting to us all. And I'm sure you'll be interested in it too. And we're going to let Sherry Winston, our co-hostess, get us into it. Sherry, you got it. Gary, how you doing, man? Doing good. good. Doing good. All Feeling right. great. Good. Well, Craig, you know, you are a fascinating kind of person to me. Being a fellow musician, I appreciate you studying at Berklee School of Music. <laughs> and then when I found out that you were also a pilot and you're very mechanical and you do all these different things, it's just amazing to me that you can keep all these things going. Now, I know that there's a connection through your video. Um, you're a cine trained cinematographer. And training. How, you're still training. Yeah, right? I'm in the, still learning my craft. And I know that there's a connection between your music and your cinema photography and your piloting. So explain how all of that works together in this mix. Well, it's just a way of trying to develop my music further. Um, I've always been a professional musician. That's what pays the rent. But I just wanted to find a way to, to take the music into a different place. And I've been thinking about how to use my flying skills with music. And I grew up with an art family that gave me a lot of visual training. And finally, uh, my wife suggested hooking on a camera to the wing of the plane that I fly. Mm. And about five years and an incredible amount of headaches later, we started making our first films. And we're calling it visual music, where we're well, that's what we're seeing now on the monitors, huh? Yeah. Yep. So now you sell a complete video that has your music and the visuals that you see. Yeah, every album we do now, we have a long-form video that goes with the album. So every cut it's on the great. album has a video, like the new um, album, Tropical Escape. It. We go to six countries in the Caribbean, and each country we write a song for. Bahamas, mm -hmm. Virgin Islands, um, Dominican Republic. Good Lord. And, um, and I've been, we've been trying to use native musicians from the individual countries as well as, you know, write with a little bit of that country's influence. Yeah, that, that is really grassroots, you know? But let me ask you about composition because I write, and so many musicians write in different ways. Where does your inspiration come from? I mean, do you hear a melody first? Do you hear a bass line? Do you have a visual concept? Do you get inspired by the, the scenery? What does it for you? I'd like to give you one answer, but it's a lot of answers. Well, Some of the best, stuff, be. the best stuff that I like myself came in dreams. Mm -hmm. And I just woke up hearing a melody, and if I could stay awake enough, I'd, I'd sing it into a tape recorder, write it down. Most of the time, I'd go back to sleep going, oh, I'll remember it in the morning. Yeah, right. Of course, you never do. Mm -hmm. I've lost a lot of songs um, like that. But you, you, it's a craft, and it's a profession, so a lot of songs I've written thinking, OK, it's Tuesday. I'm supposed to be writing this album. I'm going to sit down on the keyboard and play until I write something, and then I'll finally work on an idea and develop it. You get those, and then sometimes a theme will come into your head, and you'll be somewhere on a trip. You know, I remember I did a record, um, be thankful for what you got. I did a record um, for Profile Records quite a while back. But I was in Jamaica, and I just heard this really crazy track on the radio. Mm -hmm. And it just inspired this arrangement. Mm. And then your head gets going. So it really can come from a lot. You just have to, to, be, um, you just have to be receptive and really have to be thinking all the time, you know, how to kind of digest yeah. this information into your art form. And it comes in different vehicles sometimes. That's true. That's very true. I know most of the time, the songs that I've written, I've been on planes, mm -hmm. you know, on airplanes. Because like you said, you, you get a melody in your sleep and you wake up and say, wow, man. But I've learned to do something. I've got a little tape recorder mm -hmm. That's I put right I by my bed. Now, this other video we're seeing here now, where is this? This is in the um, Caribbean This is well. the Dominican Republic. Oh, boy. This is called Casa de Mirador. It's on the southern shore of um, the Dominican. Which is the other side of Haiti. Yeah, it was tough to fly there. We spent about a week getting permission from the general that ran the Air Force. And um, mm. to get over flight filming permission took a long time. Mm. But um, it was worth it because it's a really interesting looking place. It's a very, um, and the people are wonderful there. And they were totally excited about what we were doing. It's yeah. just, um, they're under a lot of pressure from their government down there. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Have you, have, have you, uh, you know, approach any travel services or anything with your videos? Like? Yeah, we're talking to a few airlines right now, and some of our stuff in the past has been played on airlines. Um, we're, there's so many outlets for, I mean, we live in such a stressed out world that people need to have ways to chill out. Um, That's true, toxic, I know. So. They have on uh, the cable now, they have what they call the travel channel, and they, yeah. you know, and that I would think would be a good outlet for you. We're talking with them. There's a number of cable stations that have been, have been playing our stuff and close loops even now in like say Japan when you wait in line at a bank they're playing visual music just to wow. keep people from you know getting too impatient so right. yeah. there's a lot of different applications going on that's good we're thinking now there's this whole thing going on with home theater people are buying these big TVs with yeah. stereo sound systems and they don't want, only want to see feature films they want to True. just play something at a dinner party or something right and that would be the perfect thing 
Yes. Now, do you, do you visualize a time when people will be watching this type of stuff exclusively in their homes as to just opposed to putting on a CD and listening to music? Music will never die because music is so ethereal. It's, it's invisible. You can hear it in your headphones or in the air or on speakers. So there, there's always going to be a huge market just for music. But I think people are really multimedia conscious um, mm -hmm. because they grew up, the whole generation now grew up on MTV and they're very oh, aware absolutely. of. And we notice if we're working on an album, we'll play the album for our friends and three tracks in or so, their attention span starts to wander. Right. But boy, you put something on TV and you boom, put the visual thing, you they're got just them. locked right. in. You could play one note. And um, so people really think visually. We're really, really aware that they'll, they'll perceive the music differently when they hear it that way. Hey, we're going to take a break right here and we'll be back with Craig Payton in a few minutes, okay? Hang tight, it's going to be all right. Yeah, get you all. Welcome back to Jazz Central. And I'm going to let Sherry introduce his next guest because he is tremendous. He's got something going you're going to really enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. Sherry, take it away. We've there. got a fabulous vibraphone with us tonight, mm. Mr. Craig Payton, and he's going to be playing Herbie Hancock's Maiden Voyage. All right, in a minute.
we got uh, Craig Payton with us once again, and this time he's going to play for us something that you guys were discussing a little earlier. It's called Before the Fall, and it's a song that he wrote himself. It's from his new CD. Did he write it on a plane? He absolutely did. All right. by Boyd's Pianos, home of fine Steinway Grands of Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. 